Hello you. Right, well Halloween's coming up and I'm sure everyone and their dog is going to be doing cauldron. But what the hell, I've been fancying doing cauldron for a while and it's on 10 computer it's 3 which I'm still going through. What a bargain that was eh? Uh, I remember being in boots and shooting, trying to decide what to get for my £10 for Christmas. What game I could get, what a full price game I could get, and I figured, oh, compilations, I can get 10 games for my for £10 instead of just one. Some of these are good, some of them not so good, but this was one of the good ones. Um, yeah, so I best get it loaded. <laughs> Hadn't I? Hmm. Palace Software, or it says copyright the Video Palace Limited inside the uh, 10 Computer Hits 3 packaging. Uh, Palace did have a link with some uh, video, they had, they had a video arm or something like that, I think. Um, so they, I think they started, I don't know which started first, whether it was video, whether they did videos and then they did games because one of their first ones was Evil Dead. So that was a film license, and from what I remember, I don't really, I don't, don't think I played that one. But I remember thinking it was pup. I think it was pretty rough. But then the same guy who made that wrote this, and supposedly people uh, talked that they had um, the Halloween license. So it was another film spin-off. But then, supposedly for some reason or other, they either lost it or chose to go with this concept instead of cauldron which is pretty cool and kind of two different game types in one but still it didn't feel like it was two separate games it felt like an immersive world palace software were good for having good production values shall we say i mean the instructions here are all in the form of well, rhyming couplets, I suppose. Harken, witches everywhere. Take the challenge if you dare. Tomorrow night it is Halloween. When one, when only one shall be witch queen. Up that, didn't I? Six ingredients thou must take, and in the cauldron boil and bake. Juice of toad, eye of newt, wing of bat, and hemlock root. Mouldy piece of splintered bone. Found from deep in musty tome. That really doesn't scan. <clears throat> Molten lava, cooled a while, taken from the smoking isle. Then the spell shall be at hand to rid the pumpkin from the land. So load thy game without delay. Shift and stop and then press play. <laughs> I mean, you got to laugh. Uh, <clears throat> I've been in a really odd mood. I've been happy recently. It's really weird. I don't know how to handle it. That tape's still playing and that's loaded, so I'm going to press stop. Didn't stop the tape. <gasps> Cute! I'm hoping that's showing up well on the camera because bright colours on a mainly black bit all get blurred out by the camera, don't they? What was I saying about nice, pre slick presentation and things? That's just cool. I just realised I've got the main light on here. That's better. Really nicely animated. Witchy. Ah, Richard Leinfeld there. And Stan Shembury. Yeah, I forgot he was on this. Stan Shembury. Sadly no longer with us. Which is a real shame. He did some lovely games. I really need to... Uh, some of his sometime. Mm. So sad when I uh, heard about that. Before thou canst concoct thy brew, thy joystick should go in port two. So play the game and face the test. Press fire and fly upon thy quest. <clears throat> There's the pumpkin and other sodding pumpkins. <laughs> Cause this game ain't fair. <laughs> could say, oh, it's a bit too difficult. No, it's just plain not fair. It all looks gorgeous, but I don't know if they, they fluffed it on the playtesting. It all handles, but it's just impossible odds. 
Oh, don't mind the noise in the background if you can pick that up. Look at it, it's flopping gorgeous! And already I've had a hat, bat fly into me and I've down 16 magic, because it's your magic that's your health. How lovely is that? And then you fire these sparkly things. And if things aren't tough enough, I don't have a key, so I can't go in there. I've got to go and gather keys. I can't remember where you gather keys. I think they just show up on the ground if you're lucky. Oh, look, new landscape. Lovely new sprites. Oh, there's a key. Oh, and I've run out of energy and I've died. Because firing costs you energy. There, there, there. Oh, and it takes us an age to turn around. And yes, you can crash into the ground. Oh, I died and crashed into the ground. I am going to sit down for this one now. Oh, I'm playing with my new Delta 2000. I say new, it's new to me. See what it's like. And so far, it seems quite nice for this. Oh, look, they can even, even when you run away, they can still zip up and catch you and whack you up the arse. That's a sparkly thing down there to give you extra energy, but it'll take me so long to walk to it. There's no point in me trying. Is that close enough? Oh no, I'm going to clip it there. Oh look, I'm down to seven energy. Fortunately that one didn't either didn't hit me or at that point it doesn't matter. Now we get a nice platform section. I say nice, just looks nice. The controls are kind of sharp enough. Unfortunately that's the pumpkin that I'm going up against there, isn't it? And I don't have the spell to do anything with him, so I shouldn't have gone in this one first. And already I've lost how many lives? Three lives? This is only where you go once you've got all the ingredients for your potion. And then you go and twat him. I believe I never got to do it. I mean, blind jump time, there we go. You know what, I'm not even sure why I'm bothering doing this thing, as I know even if I manage to chase him to the end. Oh right, so it doesn't come right to me. Great. You know what? This game could really have uh, benefited from a time limit. Oh, great. A time limit. That would have really helped make it absolutely fucking impossible, wouldn't it? Oh, honestly. What am I doing? Oh. You know what? This is pointless. Oh. Jet Set Willy style deaths as well. At least it starts me over on the left there. So let's... Oh no. Oh, God. Can I get out of here? Oh, at least they put that there for me to land on so that I... Oh, I'm on the left. Thank God for that. Oh, look, I'm down to my last life. Uh, I can't fire when I'm on the ground, if I remember correctly. I wasn't going to hang around to try and find out. Maybe I was more accurate with the shooting. <laughs> They are lovely sprites though, aren't they? they are, it's so lovely to love the animation, the wind blowing through her green hair, a great big nose, and <laughs> simply, it's, it's just lovely. Ooh, ooh, and more different landscape with nasty plants that fire things at you, snap dragon -y sort of things and fire pumpkins. I, I guess those would be pumpkin plants. Thou quest has failed, do not dismay, thou may succeed another day. Prepare the pumpkins. What? Prepare? How did I read that? Oh my god, I'm going blind here. Oh well, I hope you read that a bit, because um, I didn't press a button. Oh well. Another go. Let's try going left this time, eh? What are you stirring? There's nothing there. She's doing the washing up. Let's go left. Oh no, because that's going to take me. I have to go. See, no, I can't fire. So anything, when you're on the ground, you're just vulnerable. Great. You know what, look, see I'm down to 39 health already, so I'm going to get magic and then I'm going to try and get going. Well, that's incredible. I don't recall that ever working before. You normally took just as much damage coming back as you did that you gained from it, so it's, mm, anyway. Because there's nothing better for Halloween than someone going doo, 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 as they fly along, is there? That's really creepy. I suppose there's more than one kind of creepy. 
Ah, right, pink door. There are 28. Oh, oh yeah, there are. Aha, I got it. But then I got twatted and. Oh, well, I don't need to skim the surface now for keys. I've got that one quite quickly. Uh, I mean, going down for that. Uh, maybe I, if there is another one, it might be handy. Am I going to... No, I'm not going to get refilled by magic floating stuff. And I'm coming down to crash. There. <coughs> so I guess that would be where we get to the... Um, that's the smoking aisle that it's out of. Oh, look, a red key. That'll do nicely for that doorway. How it's floating on the water, I don't know, but hey, magic. Poop. <laughs> Ran out of energy in the... Uh, in the down... Uh, down approach? What do they say when they land a plane? Hopefully not Geronimo. <clears throat> right, okay, here we go with the pro... Oh, I've still got actually push left, it's not a... Didn't take control, it just opened the door. Hmm. Because downwards, I, I, I don't, I'm going to know where the... Um, is that something to collect? I don't know if that was a bad guy or... Oh, right, that's, that's not helped me. I didn't know where to drop. I don't think I want to go left. that floats along and yeah. there's a bat there that's a different colour. Am I supposed to go for that? Oh shite. Oopsie. Yeah so how many things was it to collect? Six? Well that's me stuff doesn't it? Um hmm. Nope. <clears throat> And down to my last two lives. I suppose you should be grateful that it didn't just give you one. Oh, so I have got to jump onto that as well. That's not in there. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming I'm better off. Yeah. I mean, how are you supposed to avoid that one? Oh, crap. I suppose you do it like that, then. Oh, bloody hell. I was probably, if I jumped up there, I would have refilled my magic, wouldn't I? Oh! Crap! Hmm. Reach the pumpkin's deadly room and win thyself the golden room that I score. Right. That's what they said. Not prepare. I don't know where I got that from. Yeah, well, while she's staring, I'm going to have a quick stuff of tea. It's a nice house. Generally, I find places out in the woods like that <coughs> are a bit muddier. Um, oh, it took a while to get there last time, didn't it? But I guess maybe go for the red one again. Or, well, I don't know. I don't know whether the keys appear randomly or, uh... Why don't you just fly higher, dear? God. Can you fly higher than bats? <coughs> oh, I think that D went down the wrong way. <coughs> yeah, am I going to run... Oh, no, there is a pink one right there. That looks easy to get. Oh, well, at least I got it. <coughs> oh, tickly nose now. This isn't going well, it's the curse of Goldrun, isn't it? Let's see what's behind the pink door. We know what's behind the red door. And we know what's behind the green door. And it's shaking Stevens. Um, I'm guessing the frog is the thing that we're after. Oops. Is that good? Did I get it? But seeing as there's more here, I think I'm going to try risking going out. Oh, right, okay. I do get knocked off by those, don't I? 
I mean, there's just no point trying to avoid enemies, I reckon. Ah, crap socks. Poop. Um, well, I just did it exactly the same again. What am I doing? You know what? Last life, I'm going to head out. I'm going to see if I can get back to um, back to the mixer, shall we say? Because I'm not even sure whether I even managed to ever do that. Well, that'll be something for me just to see that. Oh, bollocks! <laughs> One more go then. Delta seems quite nice. A bit sticky sometimes. I think, don't even notice I've just jumped straight up instead of to, to the side. It just didn't seem to register. I was pushing to the side when I'm trying to jump. Whether I just won't be accurate enough or whether the joystick is a little bit iffy on that. Mm. Nothing wrong mechanically with it. I think it's just the way it was, the way it's built to travel, and it's a bit longer than the Suzu Arcade. Maybe. Nice joystick there. I like the button on the top, even though I'm not really using it. It's nice that it's there as a backup, just in case. Do, 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 do. A bit of flying music would be nice. Not necessarily Ride of the Valkyries or anything, just something, something to pootle along to. But I guess witches didn't really have Walkmans on, did they, back in, back in ye old mythical times? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. But yeah, something a bit more... <laughs> Am I complaining about it with the, wanting a bit more atmosphere? What the fact do I want? The moon on a stick? There's the moon there. How about that? Because I stood a chance of getting across that ocean there, really, didn't I, without getting hit or anything? Pfft, it's just... Who playtested this? It's a lovely, lovely game. In its way. It's just an absolute sod. over substance. There's plenty of substance that there's no complaining there. But mm, is kind of let down by just the sheer impossibility of the task they set you. Now I'm guessing let's do that. Fuck you now I did not know that was there. Oh that's enough of a drop to kill me then. <laughs> Down the right hand side? No. Should have gone down the left hand side. I should have known that I was there before, wasn't I? Now, um, so I've got to go over to here and then I've got to get the raft. Piss. I guess that's why that's like there, like that, so you can go off screen and come back in again. Oh, heck. without having to traverse the whole thing, but then they put you there to make it more difficult. So now I'm guessing I've got to rush to get to that before it... No, it decided not to move then. Great. And now I'm on the left-hand side. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I just did exactly the same again. Let's wait for that to go past and then go for it. Closer, closer. Are you supposed to be able to avoid those bats? Because I don't think so. Oh, fair. see what I mean about it jumping up and I had been pushing left. Ah. 
So that's Cauldron. Ten computer hits three. How many of those have I done now? I've done Jeff Capes, I've done Eladon, haven't done Blagger Ghost of Hollywood. Cauldron we've done, Dick. 3D Lunar Attack, Crazy Comics, Dynamite Dan, I did Dynamite Dan, didn't I? Herbert Dummy Run, Attack of the Mutant Camels, and <laughs> Basildon Bond. So, still got Basildon Bond, Herbert's Dummy Run, and Blagger Goes to Hollywood to do. Hmm, which to play next, which to play next, because not many of them are very good, to be honest. Oh, I didn't go a bundle on them. <clears throat> but still. I got ten games for ten pounds. You know, my I got ten times as many games as I was expecting to get it for Christmas just from getting this. And that was ooh. so. Hey, you're gonna have some good ones in there. It was either that or get five star games, and I only had five. So might have been five all good games, <laughs> including one Jeff Minter one. I'm not quite sure. I guess I, maybe that didn't register with me that oh my god, that's Jeff Minter. That's that's the same guy that wrote those other games that I love. <laughs> Maybe it didn't register then. Mm. Probably. Because I went, oh, ten. Ten games. I mean, I've got crazy comics. I mean, I spent so long playing that. Anyway. That's Cauldron. That's me rambling as well. Hey, please in the title. I shall leave it there. And uh, hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ta!